<laughs> Yo! Yep, old Michael over there doing dad things. We're doing a river hunt. And river hunts where I'm at just consist of winging it. You take a bunch of decoys, you set it up on a sandbar, and you cross your fingers and you hope for the best. Because I don't know if you watched my scouting video, I don't know, it's probably last season. But, long story short, it's almost impossible, like literally impossible to scout my river. Sorry if I, if I sound a little nasally today. Got some sinus stuff going on real bad. But it's almost impossible to scout our river. And so, you know, we're just, that's what you gotta do. You just wing it, you go sit up. We're gonna sit up the uh, panel blind. It's only a two man hunt today. Probably gonna be running two to three dozen full body ducks. Probably two to three dozen floaters and a mojo. So. But today we do have Mike's ranger here, and let me tell you what, this ain't hunting. This is cheating, man. It's got a radio and a heater. So yeah, we're uh, living comfy today. It is extremely cold. It's uh, 16 degrees and it feels like 7. So, extremely cold. Everything should be locked up. Um, the sand pits should be the only thing that should be open, and the river. So, on these types of days, on these, on this type of weather, when everything else locks up, that's when you want to concentrate on the river, and that's what we're doing. Just gonna send it, give her a go, let's go. Well, we are set up, and it is shooting right here, and there's one thing I love most about the river, and that is the sunrise. The sunrise, river sunrises, I can guarantee are one of the be most beautiful things you've ever done seen in your life check it out though we got the panel blind up here check it out got my old setup here got the old blind bag got them dots pretzels oh man if yeah if, if you don't know now you know these uh dots pretzels best blind snack this side of the mississippi let me tell you and we're look how we're like sitting way up on a hill we're actually perched up on a hill so we're way above the decoy so this if ducks do decide to come by and check us out we're sitting i don't know probably five four to five foot up off you know higher so it's really neat we'll be shooting down at them if they if they do it well enough but i'm going to be crossing my fingers just to get one or two down guys i gotta be honest the last couple years that i tried the river it just hasn't been that great there used to be a lot of times way way back in the past where i had a lot of good hunts here and it's just like something something stopped you know something changed so me and michael we're going to give her a whirl today though uh, but I want to show you guys the spread here before we get going. We got a little cove here The, the river kind of comes back and bends in and gives them a little swirl action a little dead spot here So we stacked in the uh, so we stacked in the floaters here We got some full bodies up on the sand and then out yonder That's where we have the goose floaters and a couple up on the sand over there as well Got the mojo right out front. Yeah, do you think it's gonna you do you what's your what on a scale from 1 to 10 what is your honest what's take on today? What's gonna happen? Are we gonna are we gonna down one? Or are we not gonna down one? I'm gonna give ourselves a solid two today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I honestly, sadly, very sadly I have to agree. So it's a river. It's just the river. A lot of you hunt rivers. A lot of you have been asking for me to do a river hunt. And here we are. I don't care if we don't shoot anything today. We're making a video and we're going to enjoy the river hunt. That's right. So. Better than me sitting in the office this morning, boys. Yeah, it's way better than sitting in the office. Mike? Yeah, beautiful sunrise. Not too cold. It's really not as bad as I figured. Out of the wind? No. So. Not bad at all. So. We've gotten our decoys a little further out, but. Yeah. We're chasing them downstream. Yeah, we couldn't get these decoys out any further. You get them any more in the current than that, let me tell you, they just go whoop. It gets deep, and that is a flowing mother duck. Let me tell you what. We've gotten so much rain, this uh, this river is just abnormally full for this type of time of year. Let me tell you. Right here.
God, he's locked up. He thought about it for a second. Oh, man. I he... thought, here we go. <laughs> I seen him go boom. I'm like, oh, that's game over. Why didn't he give it up? I don't know. I don't know if he wanted to follow those other three ducks. Or... Probably. I seen him. He was coming directly over them trees right there. Well, we've seen four, and one of them we're interested. Yeah. I mean, that's a good sign. We, we got our solid two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, no luck yet. We saw three ducks. We had a mallard literally cup up right here, and we just thought he was going to spin in here and give it up. But I uh, still haven't seen anything. Like I said, these river hunts, you either just go to have fun. You never go to shoot the ducks because if, you, if you're planning on shooting them, you're going to be sadly mistaken. So what Mike wants to do is we're going to grab some floaters, geese some ducks and we're gonna run them out in the middle of the river it gets real shallow there's a sandbar that's covered up with water we're gonna run them out there and throw them in the middle of the river just uh just so it'll give them something to look at and maybe catch their eye a little easier so how many are you wanting to take just if you want to think this would be enough right here if you want to grab a couple full bodies yeah <laughs> it gets deep <laughs> This one, the river is full, so it's um, it's flowing. It's uh, so it, it's a lot higher than usual. I will say that we've had all the moisture this year, and let me tell you what, this river is a uh, ripping. Goodness, Mike, what happened to that guy? My goodness, he got caught in a fire or something. Oh, oh, here we go. This river is a ripping. Hopefully we don't miss out on any ducks. Oh boy. Oh goodness. This thing's got some current, Mike. This bad boy's got some current. Woo! I can't hear you. But there's our spread from the river view. That's where we're sitting right there. Looks pretty saucy to me. Yeah, look at that. Literally goes from three foot deep to two inches yeah. deep. This is slick right here. <laughs> All of a sudden it just goes six inches. <laughs> well, other than having uh, frozen stiff waders, me and Mike haven't had any luck. It's been slow. Uh, but the three ducks we did see, they kind of landed over on this bend, so we're going to walk around there, kind of check out the scenario, the scenery, and uh, just kind of try to enjoy this hunt for what it is. Like I said, expectations were not high going into it, but it's one of them things you have to hunt the river to even find out how good it is, because it's so hard to scout. Look at this here. It's frozen up, but this is due to the river kind of flooding and all that water sits back here and then it freezes. Well, we got geese flying. That's a good sign. It's extremely cold today, so I'm sure it's going to take them a while to get off the roofs, but we're just going to journey around, lollygag. But this hole, my goodness, I couldn't imagine if ducks actually liked this. This would be amazing. Holy cow, look at all them snow geese. Oof. That's a lot of snows. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna shoot anything, Mike. I really don't. Not good. Yeah. Well, I don't wanna just put up a video where we set up a decoy spread, don't film anything, and I upload it, and you guys are like, what the heck? What the heck was that, Bobby? So, I've been getting a lot of questions, a ton of questions from you guys down in the comment section below stating, hey, I need some tips on how to sit my duck and goose spreads on the river. And what a better day than to describe what we did here. Now, going into this hunt, I didn't know what the river was going to look like. I had no idea. I just knew that the water was going to be high and it was going to restrict, you know, basically the spots that we had to choose from. And uh, that's kind of what happened. The wind is literally coming northwest right down the river. And this sandy beach was our only option. 
Now we got some full bodies up here on the bank looking good. We got some full bodies dancing on the edge of the water. But you can't get them floaters out there any farther than they are because the current's it's about three foot deep and the current is just ripping. That's why they're just literally stacked up against the shoreline here. And I've had to do this many times because this river, it'll get full fast and your decoys will float away fast. So, But Mike came up with a slick idea and... Uh, we put them full bodies and some floaters out there in the middle of the river because that is usually a sandbar and it's really shallow right there as you can tell the sandbar keeps going and it rolls in to that right there so that actually looks really good out in the middle of that river but as you can see we have some goose full bodies up here and we have the goose floaters that kind of tie into them one thing i will say the structure the distance from the structure is really important don't ever put your decoys close to structure, close to trees, close to bush piles, beaver nests, whatever you got. Make sure you keep your decoys away from any structure. I, that's one thing I always see when I see roosting birds on water or feeding birds on fields is that they don't like to, to prance or, or walk or feed next to any type of structure. So it's always important. Like I said, we're sitting up here on this little hill and I'm telling you what, if these ducks would actually decoy right here like they're supposed to, that would be an amazing little shot. But check out the blind situation. I'm telling you, these panel blinds, this is what they're nice for. You can just throw them up anywhere. Panel blinds for river hunting, I will say, are probably one of the best blinds that you can use. Because there's always going to be a lot of brush on the side of these rivers, on the sandbars. And literally, these panel blinds, they go up. They just It's like an accordion. They just go, and they're up. Literally two seconds. Got her all picked up. Look at Mike's toy. I'm telling you what. If I get a side-by-side, -side, it's going to be one of these bad boys. You're beats, spoiled. You know that? Beats walking, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh God. It's, <laughs> it really beat walking today. Like, like Mike said, at least if we get skunked, like we did, we didn't have to work too hard. So, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, that hill, that's one hell of a hill. Yeah, we got the big old zebra. We got the big old goose egg today. We got the skunkaroni today. But like I opened this video, I told you, I was like, you know what, if we don't shoot anything, we're still going to make a video out of this. Because you guys have been requesting a river duck hunt for so long. And I've been wanting to make a video of a river duck hunt. I just wish it would have been a good one. But it's to be expected. Uh, it's been a lot of years here. Uh, it's probably been over five years since I've had a decent duck hunt in that location. In that location, I used to just slay city. I used to, Bobby used to just get down on the greens. But um, there's some new water that's opened up around the highway due to borrow pits that are building uh, overpasses over the highway. And I think that has stolen a lot of our river birds and they're roosting on that now so instead of roosting on the river now they're roosting on the borrow pits I think that's why over the hand that's why over the last years I just feel like it's went to poop but I want to show you guys something I haven't showed uh, a lot of my new subscribers this a lot of my new viewers last year we actually did a video on it a how-to video but check it out oh yeah whenever I wear waders boom look at that right there that's two hot hands taped to the top of my foot. Yep, I put it on both feet. Every time I wear waders, I do that. Last year I did a, a, a video on how to keep your feet warm in waders, and that right there is it. In the mornings, I'll open a package of hot hands, I'll uh, shake them just a little bit, strap them to the top of my feet, get on the old waders, and I'll tell you what, I uh, wore waders two weeks ago, and it was same same deal really 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 cold wind chills were bitter and my feet suffered i mean they were froze the entire time today i didn't have one issue one i mean it doesn't like keep them hot to where they're sweating and it's just profusely hot it just keeps it just right they do not get numb they don't even get cold so if you've been looking for the right perfect idea to keep your feet warm in waders but just don't wrap that tape very tight. Leave it loose around your foot. You don't want to be cutting off circulation to them tootsies. 
But I think all in all, I hope you guys got something out of this video. You guys have been requesting how to set duck uh, decoy spreads on the river, and at least we got that done. At least I showed you my duck decoy river spread. I hope it gave you guys some ideas. I hope a lot of you guys have sandbars like we did there. The sandbars, you're getting out in the middle of that water, it really intrigues them to give them up. And when you're sitting on the side of the water in big water and really swift flowing water, not so good. You need to get in either a cove or some shallow, shallow, calmer water. But a little mixture of floaters, full bodies, didn't look too bad. The one reason why I was like, you know what, we're just going to send it on the old river hunt today was because all of our bodies of water, all of our sheet water, all of our small farm ponds, all that stuff, it's all froze up. And it's been froze up for well over like a week or two. So I was like, you know what, with everything froze up, it's a perfect time to try the river. And, well, I guess it wasn't the perfect time because our river just sucks. But big shout out to Mike uh, for going with me and sitting there and just listening to a nice calm river and watching the sun come up. That's a, that's a nice thing about the river is you get the best sunrises in your entire lifetime while duck hunting that river. I'll tell you what. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big old like. Give me that big old thumbs up. And if you have any questions regarding this hunt or anything else, drop a comment down below. And it, whatever I need to know from you guys, I really need to know what you guys want to see me do next. A lot of you are liking the crow hunts. A lot of you are liking these small duck hunts. And of course, I'm going to try getting after the ducks here for the next two days. But literally, we got two days left of duck season. So we can only do what we can. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.